Welcome back to another day here on the Pixelborn Lore Chronic Client. Today we're playing a deck I'm calling Old Hags and Pets by another member of the Discord channel, Scattercat. This deck, funny enough, if, we, if we're really looking, there's a couple oddballs, but we have Yzma, an old hag, and Lady Tremaine, another old hag. Technically, Maleficent could be considered an old hag too, and I think it's the magic that makes her still kind of have that young appearance. But look at this. That's an animal. 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 Uh, that's an animal. That's an animal. That's an inanimate object. That's a toy. <laughs> so Maui's kind of the oddball, right? If, if, I mean, he is a demigod and probably has lived for a long time. So an old hag in a sense. Old hags and pets. It's a funny take on Ruby Amethyst. It does look like it's largely the competitive version. I do like that it's got the Merlin Crab for the uh, surprise attacks. I'm a sucker for for a theme. <laughs> and there's another deck floating around on the uh, on the old Discord that I got my eyeballs on that's also uh, animal oriented that looks hilarious, uh, which I may work in. I have a few videos already lined up, so it'll probably take a few days to get to that one specifically. Let's jump in. And see if we can't win a few. I'm giving away uh, the new Rise of the Floodborne booster box this month, January. I'll be giving them away February 4th-ish during a live stream. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed, uh, a member of the Discord channel, and most importantly, share each and every video that you come across. Those three things is all you need. That'll get you in for the raffle. We'll be doing the live stream again in February, early February. Uh, don't miss your chance to win a free booster box. Ooh! Oh, that's cool! Okay, so I downloaded the launcher this morning. Oh, look, and now we got the pictures. Oh, man, that is Neato Burrito. Wow, I do not need all of these. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Let's hope I get something better than uh oh no a bunch of uninkables and three drops okay well we lost the game already we lost the game already uh downloaded the launcher this morning looks super cool finally get to see the icon that I bought and paid for <laughs> and I like that it tells you what your opponent's playing or if anything else has changed hmm <laughs> well I can't be stingy on my Uninkables might still hold on to that though. If I can, I might. If my opponent's gonna be aggro, I was so taken aback by that intro screen <laughs> that I wasn't really paying attention to what my opponent was playing. It obviously told me what colors their deck was. I think it's amethyst. I'm gonna play a Stitch. No, they're too aggro for that. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of uninkables here. How many's in this deck? 17. Okay, there are quite a number of uninkables. I would definitely get that number closer to 10 if I could. I think 10's supposed to be supposed to be. I think 10 in my experience is right around the sweet spot of having the power that you get from the uninkables without too much compromising. Now, with the exception of a Simba coming down here, I actually can take out both of their whole board. The ink to Simba doesn't bode well. I want Arthur. Okay, well, I do take that down. I will bounce you. I will take you down. I need to ink. Crap on a cracker. Wow, this is- I'm getting super unlucky with the uninkables. Telling you, I need that shirt! Always uninkable. Hey, I'm happy to trade right here, if I'm being honest. I am thrilled to trade. <laughs> Oh, crap! <laughs> what is happening? 
We're making it work! But holy smokes! I have six of the 17. There's still 11 in the deck. What are the odds? What are the odds? If only I was a mathematician. A math magician! I'm gonna play another rabbit here because I want to keep Maui. Thank you. Well, I could draw another card. <laughs> if only this was an extended amount of time, not just not just this turn. Opponent's aggro is definitely getting the best of me. I couldn't play the majority of my hand for the majority of this game. <laughs> I do like this uh, this little combo. I do find it difficult to get set up, but I do like the little combo of the cheap creatures drawing extra cards with Stitch and then balancing them with uh, specifically has to be the snake because it's the cheap one. I will take it. I do need some cards. Okay, if they quest, I don't need to play Pinocchio, which is fantastic. Alright, I think that's pretty straightforward. Let's get that off the board. Let's draw another card. I need characters who can stick around! <laughs> I mean, I'm going to get rid of the snake here. Still need that ink. I will take you down. I am going to play the Pinocchio so I have a bounce target in case the Maui is defeated. But Maui is the guy that I would like to bounce. It's a pseudo heal. Well, let's see, I can defeat the Arthur. It would cost me, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. Not enough to recast it. This costs all six. I'm trying to think of a way to defeat both of their characters. And I'm not sure I can. Definitely defeat one. All right, well, let's quest with them. Let's bounce Pinocchio. Let's replay Pinocchio. Let's exert Arthur. Now we defeat Arthur. Now I have the option I could bounce the Maui here, but I think I would like to save it for the Pinocchio. So instead, I'm going to draw some cards. Goat's good, and I still have an inkable, but I might need this Minnie Mouse to actually play catch up with my opponent. I mean, two of my dragons are gone. It's the most expensive card in the deck. And I think I am... I do have some be prepared, which I think won't be very good in this particular position. Let's just hold on to it. Do a stitch. I mean, that's certainly a Lady Tremaine target. Let's see, we go... Quest of Pinocchio, Madam Mim, Bounce Pinocchio. Replay Pinocchio. Tap Lilo. That's cost us five already. And then we could take down both Maleficent and Lilo right now. Oh, Yzma's a good, good card as well. I can't take down the two little ones. Take down the stitch, but I'm just letting my opponent draw cards. Yeah, we're going to ink the goat at this point. 
My biggest hurdle is I just can't afford to do everything I would like to do. I could take down the stitch. But Stitch is pretty useless at this point, right? Just quest for two. I mean, somehow opponent just keeps having cards in hand. They're just doing enough that they can just play three or four cards every single turn and not run out of a hand. It's quite, it's actually impressive. Hit him with a Lady Tremaine. Reduce their chances of actually being able to draw cards off that stitch. I'm keeping the Yzma in case I need specific target removal. Tremaine doesn't do it. Tremaine's not a target removal. All right, now he plays another one drop and then he plays a stitch and draws two cards, All right? Yzma. Nice, I like it when they target themselves. I know they get the card draw, but they just lost a character. I mean, I'm only questing for seven, so I'm only tying the game at best here. Why does it say zero? Plus zero. Plus, there we go. Plus four. Okay, I don't have a way to tap down. Well, another Lady Tremaine. Get the spell book down at least. All right, we're just going wide and getting aggressive at this point. It's time for some old hag magic and all these little pets. All of a sudden, it's a tie game and I got a full board. It wasn't looking so good for me, was it? But all of a sudden, the old hags. <laughs> That was it too. It was the old hags. They're they're the ones that have uh, kept us in this game. But yeah, still super impressed with my opponent's ability to play three to four cards every single turn, and okay, I was like, did I get my way or not? Every single turn, and still just have a full hand. Like, it's wild. There it is. Good game opponent. Oh, I love it. I love that. That's so cool. Amber Ruby. Okay. I do have a one drop. It's pretty decent. Don't want this. I love Minnie Mouse. It's one of my favorites. Don't need this. Maui's questionable being expensive, but he is inkable. Maybe I should have kept the dragon for the same reason. Ink. You know, it's interesting if my opponent has the client, which they might not. Like, I didn't have it. Uh, there's no point in hiding things, right? Give you the greetings. Uh, hmm. Minnie Mouse is so aggressive, though. I like it. All right, we're actually going to give up the card draw, I think. Ruby. Amber. So they're going to have like Mother Gothel, Rapunzel for the card draw. There's a lot of really interesting things that Ketchup and Mustard can do. Of 
Does our deck our deck has teeth, doesn't it? Our deck does have, deck does have teeth. Only two copies though. Land done. No follow up. I like that. Chosen character. So it's not a whole board. It's not like a fairy godmother. I think I want to go the routes of the Minnie Mouse. I think they're just a little bit more obnoxious to deal with. Try to maximize our value before they get to potential. Be prepared. All right, we're going to see a turn four a rock star. There goes a rock star. And here comes a rock star. Okay. Do you quest with it? They do. Do I just obliterate it? Could hit it. I'm going to two for one myself. So bad if I do it, if I take it out. But if I take it out, I think uh, we gain a lot of advantage, right? Whenever you play a character with cost two or less, they're going to try to use that to draw a bunch of cards. Like they went for it. If I ink a Maui, I don't want to ink the other Minnie Mouse, but I might. If I ink the Minnie Mouse, I think we ink the Maui. That means I can hit him. I can play Minnie Mouse. I can play the Fox. I can bounce the Minnie Mouse. And it's another trade. It's a two for one, but I think it's enough to disrupt what my opponent's trying to do. And hopefully, cross our fingers, that is enough to have disrupted their main plan. Good thing with Hades, it doesn't get back both stitch. It only gets back one or the other. So they got back a little stitch just to ink it. Interesting. Next turn's a possible Lady Tremaine. Is this Hades quest for two? Just for one. Okay. All right, we're going to see a big boy stitch. Oh, Mother Gothel. Rapunzel. Oh, they had it. Of course they had it. Ooh, whiffed. Whiffed real hard. That is unfortunate. All right, opponent's got a full grip. So time to shift gears. I need to focus on inking. It's basically all I can do, right? Ink or draw dead, because I can do that really well too. I can draw. I I can and probably will draw all of my own inkables for a few turns. Yeah, it's definitely time to focus on a board wipe. I will play the Lady Tremaine just to slow down my opponent. It's a little unfortunate. The Lady Tremaine is so good for a follow-up. My opponent's got so many cards that the Lady Tremaine will never hit anything important. Let them get up to 15. I mean, I'm still banking on getting an inkable. I mean, this gets me to 14. Lady Tremaine gets me to lethal. So I might just have lethal before my opponent can get there. They actually need removal now, which they could have it. They could have it. I mean, they could just quest and board wipe themselves. They could have dragon fire. They could have a Lady Tremaine of their own. The way they're going for it feels like a board wipe, though. There's the ink. Here's the board wipe. There's the board wipe. Here's the good news. I have board wipes online. Ah, not another Mother Gothel Rapunzel. Oh, that was lethal for sure. How the heck do we compete with that? 
And I know it's good. We played it yesterday. It's fun. I get it. But I mean, it doesn't leave us any room to do anything. Dang, dang, double dang. A little unfortunate. Not that bad. Can't even play a teeth, right? Deal two damage. You can ink it. <laughs> yeah, if opponents wise, they don't play anything. They have lethal in play. Shouldn't have played anything there. The replay Mufasa. Mufasa! Mufasa's nice. Gives him a little, uh, insurance. Don't tell me they just got a Mufasa off a of Mufasa. Not a Mufasa off a of Mufasa. All right, that is lethal. Even if I dealt with it, I have another one to deal with. And then another card after that to deal with. Uh-uh, it's not happening. Ruby Amethyst. Different player though, different player. Oh, I got the Minnie Mouse teeth combo. Couple of Maui to keep things under control. Crab is interesting too. Oh, another teeth. Those are all of my teeth. <laughs> We're gonna ink the crab. I have Maui's. I don't exactly need the challenger right this moment. Okay, I will take down the mother Gothel. If I can stop my opponent from. If I can stop them. I will stop them. Two damage here, two damage there. I don't want you drawing three cards. We saw how much of a nightmare that was with the last player. And I got another one in the chamber to take down a stitch before they can shift it. Really? You're gonna just in time a Hades just to get him? It's gotta be the card draw combo. All right, well, they're not going to be able to play both of them in the same turn unless they're going to wait till turn six. If they play that Mother Gothel, I am nuking it. That will be my entire plan that turn is to take it out. <laughs> Dragonfire is nice, but I'm not quite there. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep the hasty one. It's a bit slow. I'm not a huge fan. But I know they have that Mother Gothel Rapunzel combo. Those are the last two cards in hand. Oh man, stop going off. Opponent's just going off. Brutal. Okay, well, I can Minnie Mouse attack the Mother Gothel. Maui destroys the Stitch. 
And then we'll see what's what after the fact. Might still hold on to this. We have lots of Maui's actually, so. Problem is no no problem. Never mind, no problem. I was gonna say the problem is they can just attack Maui, get the damage to heal. No, they can't. Maui will destroy whoever attacks it. Unless they have a big queen. But will they have the ink now to play a Rapunzel? Still. Maui will have two attacks, so he's still trading with whoever hits it. Fantastic. Rapunzel. Not gonna work this game. Sorry, Mim. I need something that's gonna stick around, doesn't require a body. Alright, this is our point of stabilization. This is where control decks are supposed to shine. Well, okay, they're running Mickey Mouse with evasive. I should hold on to my dragon fire. <laughs> There's the whiffing Rapunzel. We knew you freaking had it. <laughs> Time for some goat. Alright, I got a Maui to take down the Rapunzel. BEA, beautiful. Alright, I got five cards, opponent's got three. This is the time to shine. We're one turn away from a potential Mickey Mouse with evasive. Will they trade their queen for a Maui and a card draw? Or a goat and a card draw? They are gonna trade it. Who are they? Maui. Maui's the threat. The goat is actually the threat. The goat's the one that gains all the stuff. Okay. Ooh, can I draw an inkable? So if I can draw an inkable, I can also take out the stitch. This is a gamble. I drew my inkable. Fantastic. Take out the stitch. Don't want them to go off again with infinite little characters. The only thing I the thing I don't like about the deck with Stitch is it requires a deck full of one and two drops. All right, let's see what opponent's gonna get instead of Mufasa. Mufasa. Come on, whiff. I would consider that a whiff. Hope they can't shift it. No shifts. That's what I like to see. Draw a card. Play a goat. Gain a lore. Gain a lore. Quest. Quest. Pass. What do I got? I got plus six because of the spell book. So I have lethal. I have lethal. And that's where the control deck shines. Stabilize and control. Booyah, stabilize and control, baby. Ooh, the mirror match. <laughs> I love this little intro screen thing. 
Okay. Uninkable, 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 uninkable. All of you go away. Better. Not the best, but better. <laughs> oh no, I'm going second in the mirror match. I've lost. Those who go first, go win. <laughs> Alright, Yzma, too expensive. Goodbye, old hag. I just want to see your pets. Yep, teeth won't work in this mirror match. Which is why it's a good thing we only run two. Less likely to see it. Still like my mini mouse. I'd rather have that. And now I got the little mini mouse for inking. Did see the fox, but the fox can't do anything. All right, we don't want to overcommit to the board at all if we can help it. Opponent's got spellbook first. That's going to be a big deal. I will take the trade. Something to ink. Pass the turn. Alright, this game, I believe, is going to revolve around the turn 7 board wipes. Those spell books are going to be a big problem, though. Opponent is lucky to have them. Need the opportunity to race them. The good news is the turn that they want to play the be prepared is the turn that they can't quest. Because they can't pay for it. Ink and draw cards. Here comes the be prepared. That does give us the lead. And if they fail with the be prepared, then we'd take a significant lead. It's gotta be the be prepared, right? Oh, they don't got it. Uh-oh, that's a significant lead point for us right there. Don't overcommit, it is a trap. Just enjoy the lead. Ink if we can. I'm gonna hold on to Goat. Might be just the card we need to win. If I can get to nine, I actually got two points built into this. All right, it's just, yeah, chosen character. All right, surely opponent sees that they're behind and I race faster. So here comes the board wipe. And they're going to get one quest off with one of the spell books. There it is. Can I stop drawing uninkables, please? Crap on a cracker, man. There's a lot of uninkables. Alright, we're going to see a Lady Tremaine. Ooh, they didn't have it. Ooh, and they got just enough to for both the spell books. That is tricky. Let's see. 
I got one, two, three points I can do right now. Hmm. Well, if they do got the Lady Tremaine, Madame M takes out Merlin, Tremaine takes out my dragon. That's not very good. I think we go Merlin and then we go Minnie Mouse to play around a Lady Tremaine. We are walking into a board wipe, but we'll still pick up the point with Merlin. But opponent's gonna get three points and go to 19. Tell me you don't got the bounce. Oh, they just had lethal. I didn't even see it. Ooh, the removal colors. Steel Ruby. Yep, it's still Ruby. <laughs> okay. Definitely don't want these, and I don't want the expense. Now I got the expense, and I got an uninkable, but it's totally inkable. One hook down for another hook. I was Simba. Tinkerbell down. Interesting. Oh, don't start drawing on inkables now. I has no teeth for you. I sorry. No, I need something on the field that I can bounce. For the Madam Mim. Ha! Your Aladdin does nothing! You fool! It was so easy! Oh, and there's a teeth. Well, I can't do both. Do I hold on to the teeth, though? Probably. All right, opponent's not gonna quest with things that matter. Then I will only quest with, thank you, deck. Thank you, deck. <laughs> Inkables and cards I also don't care about. I will only quest with my evasive, which makes your big Aladdin pointless. And if you do want to get them out, yeah, there they go. They're like, oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Then I got a dragon fire just in case. Oh, I got a dragon fire anyway. I got another dragon fire. It's fine. Oh, I got something worse. <laughs> Let's get the spell book down. Hmm. You don't see that very often with uh, Steel Ruby, the whole new world. Is this Protector Beast? This is the one that takes all the damage? Yeah. You're in luck, opponent. I happen to just not have it. <laughs> see, they can only quest for five. Not bad. We're going to see a be prepared. Maybe we might see a be prepared from the opponent. They are the removal colors. Not a mistake. We are going to bounce the mini mouse. I just wanted to get maximum value out of it. Ink it and draw some cards. That's a sweet follow-up to a Be Prepared. Alright, opponent quest for five, and then they play Be Prepared. After they ink, of course, because they do need seven. <laughs> they could just play a Tinkerbell and sing a Swords. Hmm. 
This is the one that... Yeah, challenge ready characters. Oh, we got two, four, five, six, seven. It's almost lethal. Can I kill you? I can't kill you. So it's actually six. Can't pay for the uh, spell book. Be prepared. All right, opponents on a three turn clock with the spell book alone. Share con into a beast. All right, I can't remove both, can I? No, but I can put myself in a position where they have to win on their turn or they lose the game. Yeah. All right, opponent, I'll put, I'll put it in your corner. Show me what you got. They might have another be prepared, so drawing the extra cards might be pointless, but... Or another, uh, whole new world. Did I say be prepared? I meant whole new world. Smash and you lose the game. Give them the well played. Nice. That's what I like to see. Ooh, the mirror match again. Okay. Oh, and I get to go first. Heck yeah. Ho ho, uninkables. Kindly go away. I'm about to start using some curse words on you because you are ridiculous. Not a great hand. Not a great hand. I <laughs> can't play anything until Merlin here. And then his ability has nothing to work with. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's sucky. <laughs> Oh no! Alright, well let's get rid of the cards that I actually can't play. Don't rub it in, opponent. I almost had a one drop too. And then I didn't. Alright, Teeth isn't actually good against you, but I will play the Pinocchio. Yeah, you got an effect, but... It doesn't do anything. Are they going to hit me with the teeth, I wonder? No, just the bounce, okay. Hmm, I don't want the Pinocchio in my hand, he's not inkable. I'd rather spend my turn playing something that is much harder to interact with. Pass turn. I will leave the Pinocchio though. Sometimes bouncing is critical. A mini mouse of their own. I think I'd rather have some goats. Okay. I mean, obviously, getting the spell book down would be good. I mean, I could be in technically the same position, just one less body. So it just meant, I guess this, if you play Spellbug versus Goat, it just depends on how much you want that body. All right, it's time to start using Pinocchio. We're not going to bounce them. That ship has sailed. I want to get as many turns as I can, whether that means my opponent's not questing or until the board wipe. Good for you, opponent. It's nice to have cards that are good when you need them, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, they have this guy. This, this one's expensive. That means they've climbed the ladder. They had the it must have been a pretty high rank to have enough points to buy that guy. Maui on the goat. 
now I own the goat. Okay, they're on four, I'm on three. I have a slight lead here. That does help my lead. Not quite to board wipes yet. Hmm, is this a race I'm winning? Are you going to hit me with a Lady Tremaine? I mean, obviously I sacked the goat in that position. But I would like to get the extra lore out of him. It is the Lady Tremaine, so it is a goat. Unfortunate. I wanted the extra point. You are just ink. Now I don't play a Lady Tremaine here because then I'm just walking into a board wipe. That's a bad board wipe for my opponent though. But they have to take if they can't if they have no other way of taking out Minnie Mouse, they could have Lady Tremaines. But if they have no other way, it's gonna that's gonna not be fun for them. To give up a whole board just to survive. Oh, they're not out of it yet! Ursula, coming in clutch! Let's hope they don't have more Ursulas. Thank you, deck. Exactly the card I needed. Quest. Maui. Board wipe. Don't have a goat. Don't have a goat. <laughs> Don't have a goat. No, it's a spell book. Dang. And for the post game wrap, I think it's official. I think I'm just not good at this game. <laughs> oh man. I did play in rank. Uh, every single, every single match today was a ranked match. We were playing a competitive color, color pair and the one thing I hate to see in the lab is to see competitive decks in the lab. And since this is a competitive color pair, I can't, I can't with good conscience play it in the lab. Uh, so we only played against really strong decks today. Not necessarily great players, uh, cause that's not always the case. Any schmuck can spend 200 bucks and own the world's best deck, but it doesn't mean they're a good player. <laughs> uh, same's true for me. I can run a best deck obviously and still just get slaughtered. Obviously, because I'm not a great player. <laughs> I'm an okay player. Uh, the deck's fun. I enjoy it. I mean, of course it's fun. What else can you say about it? It is Ruby Amethyst. It's a lot of bounce shenanigans. Obviously, the biggest issue... There, there's no there's no reason this deck should be at 17 ink. All of the Pinocchios come out. Uh, I know it's controversial. I don't actually care for Merlin Rabbit. I think Merlin Rabbit comes out. Dragon Fires don't need to be in here. Uh, I mean, the only uninkables I think the deck really wants is Lady Tremaine and Be Prepared. Those are the only ones it actually wants. Spellbook is your, Spellbook and Merlin are your, like, if you can squeeze them in, right? So between these two, that's already eight. Uh, and then, you know, do you get up to ten with Spellbook? Or do you get up to ten with, uh, Merlin, right? I think that's the way it should go. You should never be above ten. I have a I have a, a video idea I'm working on uh, that will hopefully explain what I'm trying to say right now a little better. So look out for that in the near future. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. There's a link in the description down below for the deck list and the Discord if you want to join the Discord uh, for the raffle for the booster box. Of course, this guy right here. Yes, the Rise of the Floodborne. That's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.